Welcome, Country Board Walkers, to my studio. I'm CB Mac, and on this channel, you'll find tutorials about plein air painting with watercolors, gouache, ink, graphite, and colored pencils. I also do some art supply reviews. Today's video is going to be the last one for 2023, and I thought I'd do a um, sketchbook tour of my Strathmore watercolor sketchbook that I finished in 2022 and went into 2023 with it. So let's get started. First we have a study of a couple of birds. Birds are my favorites. These were done back in May of 2022. Um, we've got a watercolor painting here of clover and some grass, a butterfly, a beetle of some sort, and a cedar waxwing. Then I've got some uh, pebbles and rocks, some still fruit that I have done. This is from when I traveled to visit my daughter during her days in college. Um, this is her neighborhood. We went on a walk and I did a painting of a um, grain buggy silo and a sunset. I've also got a wren feather here in the center that I found. We've got um, frogs, another butterfly, and then a plant, a potted plant. This is the start of my 2022 uh, World Watercolor Prompts Months. These are all the various prompts for the World Watercolor Month in July. And I will just flip through these. I don't even remember some of the prompts with it, but that's what these next few pages are. Oop, one too many pages. Let's go back one. Here I was in uh, working on uh, doing portraits during the month, too. Apparently there's a self-portrait for one of the prompts. Another leaf, or feather, I mean. That one looks like a turkey feather. And still, these are from July 2022, still the wa World Watercolor Month prompts. And I always like to do a um, painting at the end of World Watercolor Month to signify the end of it and the year. And what supplies I've actually used. And some of the colors. Oh, this is Inktober 2022. With its uh, month of prompts. Mainly ink is used. I do use a little bit of uh, watercolor wash every once in a while. For backgrounds or to help set off the ink. In Inktober, I did a lot of animals with the prompts. A 
And apparently I've used my daughter's vehicle for one of the prompts here for October 23rd. And this is at the end of Inktober. And these are just sketches and paintings that I've done that I was interested in doing. I love doing a lot of landscapes. And as uh, I've said before in my videos, I do love doing birds. I believe this is a Paul Apps uh, prompt with the pelican here. And then there's a turkey. Um... Oh, this one is done with gouache. This is from Cecilia Yadro's mushroom uh, tutorial. And this is one of the trees that has fallen down in the um, fields next to the pond. And then a couple more landscapes, seascapes. And then my um, Christmas painting for 2022. And this is, again, the um, Strathmore hardcover watercolor 48-page sketchbook with 140-pound, um, 300 GSM uh weight paper um if you've enjoyed this video could i ask you to please tap on the like button share this video and click on the bell icon for notifications of my upcoming videos for 2024 it makes a real huge difference in the growth and support of my channel and please feel free to post any comments or questions below I do try to read each and every uh, comment, and I cannot always reply to everyone. Um, this video also contains affiliated links. I'll put a link for this sketchbook in um, the bottom of the video description. Um, I'm awarded a small commission for purchases made through... Uh, the links at no additional cost to you. And thank you for your support this year in 2023. Um, you can check out my favorite art supply list on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the bottom. And I look forward to doing more plain air videos in 2024. Wishing every one of you a very merry, happy, prosperous new year for 2024. Thank you for your support.